everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Urban Yolks Vlog. It's been a little while since we've posted. Um, well, that has a bit to do with our decisions on livestock and why we're not keeping them. So we'll get into that at the end of the video. But for now, I would like to show you how we're going to build our raised beds and also just share that journey because it's our first time building raised beds and having this for ourselves. So I'm very excited to share it as well as, you know, have a few comments on what we could do and uh, some advice. So let us know down below. So here are our raised beds. We've got four of them. And essentially what has happened is that Charles found these plastic crates or pallets lying around as well as the wood to build the frame with. This was uh, quite exciting for us because we were able to save quite a bit of costs having that. And then we're going to add some cladding around it with corrugated iron as well as framing on the top, which will both look nice and also add a lot of practical, practical mixture. <laughs> um, each bed, I believe, is 1.1 meters. Uh, so they're all squares and there's four beds. This gives us a fair amount of growing space, as well as space that we can cover to keep away from the monkeys, which is obviously something we really want around here. So yeah, let me go and show you the rest of the material. Okay, so here are the corrugated iron sheets that we're going to be using. We did have to buy these new, but I think that is all right. We bought them from a local supplier. And then we got some actual decking wood for the top. So it's got the grooves where we'll be able to put things down and things won't slip off on the sides. These will be covering the top and essentially creating our top frame, which we'll be treating with boiled linseed oil. And then lastly, we have the PVC pipes, which we'll be using to create the hoop or triangle so that we can then put shade netting over and cover and protect our plants. So you're probably wondering why we removed the legs from the frame there. Well, it was just so we could make these legs fit properly, right? So if we look in the corner here, can't really see it, but there's an edge on the inside that is blocking the wood from being flush. So we're taking these out and then making the side flush. Mm-hmm. 
awesome guys so we got the cladding done and now we're getting the top frame set in place oh it's very exciting Whew, and tiring me gods Whew. So guys, check it out, first part is done, all we have to do is put the PVC frame in as well as the shade netting for the cover, but look at that, I'm so freaking excited, <laughs> sorry I'm knocking over wood in the background here, oh yay, our first raised bed, woo! Cool. So we are on to the next step over here where we are putting together the frame for the shade netting. How exciting! <laughs> right guys, so our top frames, well, the top frame for the white bed is in. Beautiful A-frame, it's got this little bow to it. So what we're thinking of calling them are our little food chapels our four food chapels that will help provide us with food that will be appreciated as much as it grows abundantly, hopefully. <laughs> oh, this is a good sigh of relief.
so after two days of building and one last day of a little bit of painting we have come to the end of most of the structure for our little food chapels we're currently debating if we want to paint the outside the yellow that's on the inside at the moment let us know in the comments what you think last thing that's got to go on bit of shade netting to cover it from the birds and of course our true enemy the monkey so yeah, exciting stuff. This is actually a dream put on hold. This lovely area that you've just viewed is somewhere where we wanted to keep a couple of pigs. As Shaw and myself are quite uh, passionate about animal husbandry, possibly me more <laughs> so than Shaw. And having pigs is something that both of us have dreamt about for quite some time. But unfortunately in this area, there have been a few break-ins. Uh, burglaries of actual livestock in, in such a way that is rather violent. So rather to keep attention away from the house, we decided to stay away from having any kind of livestock, so for growing chickens and everything, and focusing our energy in our garden. So creating you know food for ourselves through vegetables and fruit. And so that's how we landed up on the raised beds. Okay guys, so thank you for watching. We hope we that you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Do like, share, subscribe and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Bye!